Hello, Aries, and happy Sunday to each and every one of you all. Aries, you may be watching this video on January the 20th, but this reading is for the 21st of January through the 21st of February. Let's get into it. Let's see what your cards have to say, Aries. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Aries. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The energy has already been cleared, Aries. I'm seeing booked and busy and not burdened at all. Here we have the Ten of Wands. Here we also have the Two of Swords. Here we also have the Six of Wands. We also have the Nine of Wands. And we also have the Five of Wands. What is all of this going on here? And then also the Strength card. It looks like there could definitely be some energies around you, Aries, that's like, that instigates things. And I, this keeps coming up in your, um, or you could have, you could have Leo in your birth chart, but something in you like high in your inner, in your inner planets, right? Um, and you can look up inner planets, but it looks like somebody could either, either be around some energies that instigate you to like bring out this extra fire in you to a point of burnout or when you think and talk about certain people, places, and things, it could really upset you to a point where you're just like, okay, I don't see why I get so upset when I talk about certain people, places, and things. So I was just saying, take the blindfolds off so that you can be booked and busy and not burdened at all. It's like somebody's head and heart are at war with each other. We're talking about the two of swords here in terms of relationships. Remember, the number two, there's a light and dark side, the number two. If they're not adding to your peace, it's probably taking away from your peace. And when you think about certain energies, it takes away your peace. And so you're going to have to say deuces to it, okay? That's the only way you're going to be able to really move on from, like, if somebody tries to bring up certain people, places, and things, you need to move on from it. Like, okay, switch the conversation. If it comes up in your mind, switch the conversation. Like, in your mind, okay, I need to think about something else. What I need to pick up from the grocery store, anything, as it relates to that, because it just, it bur it just burns somebody out. It just, it triggers all kinds of emotions. And so if it gets you to that point where you're booked and busy and the first thing you hear somebody's name or somebody brings up a past situation or whatever, and you're at battle with yourself, like these energies right here, this is where it's like, it's very triggering for you. It's time to switch the conversation. You've already gone through this long and arduous journey and source needs you to move on, like really, really move on. This is the year of wealth. And there it is right there. Move on. This is your past right here. And you're trying to move on. There's a window of opportunities for you. You know, you got some of you all who new love coming across your path, opportunities to make more money. I mean, but every time you think about certain energies, you just feel like it was a nightmare and it causes you, it's, this exposes more about you than it does about other people. You may feel like, oh, they were holding on to secrets. They could have told me this and they didn't tell me that and so on and so forth. But remember, there's two sides of that, that sword. They could be thinking the same thing about you that you have been holding on to secrets as well. You didn't tell them certain things either. Bottom line, it's just a, it's just a, like I said, two of swords and seven of swords as nine of swords as nightmare information. The more and more you keep talking about it, nightmare energy, the more and more you keep talking about it, they talk about you. It just, it just reminds you of just what you left behind. So keep on moving forward. Keep moving forward. Two situations in particular, sources saying you will move on from that. You will definitely go for like a huge weight has been lifted off of your, while well, now you're having room to, now you're making room for new love in your life or new, new money or new, whatever it is you've been praying for. Cause somebody's prayer life has definitely been increased and two major things that you have been asking source for source has been telling you, okay, well, what's the trade off here? I'm going to lay some things out on the table for you. We're getting closer and closer to this full moon. What are you willing to part ways with, right? So the cool thing about um, these moon phases is that uh, Gemini and Virgo's ruling planet Mercury is, if you're watching the video on the 20th, this is the last day for their ruling planet Mercury, which is a messenger and communication planet, is post-shadow retrograde. So it's like a post-test, right? So when Mercury was retrograde, that gave you an opportunity to slow down and Mercury been in an inner planet to really pay attention to how you communicate things versus how other people communicate, how, uh, what kind of messages you send out, how other people receive and then vice versa, right? It's also your factual memory versus their factual memory. It's, um, your opinion versus their opinion, right? It's, um, your wisdom and knowledge that you've gained about yourself and their wisdom and knowledge that they've gained about themselves. So 
Source is saying, be okay with just leaving some bridges burned. I know you all are ruled by Mars and that's that energy planet. That's that fighting, that competition planet. That's that, that action and assertion. Source is saying, take some action to move on. And that's what, that's what this is right here. Somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of their shoulders. Here we also have the King of Cups and now you're sitting on your throne carefully vetting your thoughts and becoming more compassionate towards yourself and also towards other people instead of sitting around and ruminating over it. Because when you really think about Mercury and the moon being in Gemini, you're like, okay, that really puts an emphasis on how you learn versus how other people learn and, you know, that kind of thing. So I definitely see you moving on, you know, from this. So congratulations to you. Congratulations and learning how to not be so reactive and learning how to respond so Ten of Pentacles and Five of Swords, because every time you look back, you think, okay, somebody was playing me. They was playing games. They weren't telling me everything. And they could be saying the same thing about you. You got to remember that um, when people are tapped into their, when they're tapped into their purpose, when they know what their purpose is, you know, and they're like, mm, okay, somebody not telling me everything, or you may be saying the same thing. They not, they not telling me everything. Right. So it could be a situation where you feel like, okay, I'm holding on to some information and just to make sure if I'm safe or I'm secure in a relationship and they could be feeling the same way. So it just never works when, when it's all this burnout instead of just conversation, like, okay, let's have some honest discussion, but I do see you putting that energy towards your legacy wealth here. That's what I'm seeing here putting all of that energy towards your legacy wealth. And so source is actually rewarding you for moving on. I do see somebody getting married. If you're not already married, I do see that you're building some kind of a legacy with somebody. That's, that's why I said it's two for two. Somebody has been praying for a new and exuberant love, somebody who's right there on your frequency, right? Um, and also praying for something else, possibly your business increasing or you, you building a, a rich legacy with someone, right? So you want your money increased and also a romantic relationship, but then you're going to also have to part ways or leave some bridges burn with um, possibly some family members since we're talking about legacy, right? Energies that, you know, energies that cause you to be reactive, you know, that, that would be like family members or ex-love ex -love interest. Every time you think or talk about them, your, inner, your, your vibration goes really, really low to a point of burnout. Here we have the two of pentacles. The source is definitely saying, I'm keep you busy. Definitely going to keep you busy and going to move some things along fast for you. It's funny that you always say, you know, that you're impatient because I don't, I don't agree with that per se, um, Aries, that you all are impatient sign. I feel like you give probably, like we said in here in the cards, patience to a point of burnout. You know, it's, it's the opposite. And so when you learn how to balance it out, a lot of you all recognize that, okay, you may be impatient in some areas of your life, but in some areas that you want to, where your head and heart may be at war with each other, maybe love interest or family members, or, you know, how sometimes in families, you know, loved ones may say, oh, you know, we're the, it's the only, the only siblings left and we got to keep in contact with each other. Even if this sibling is burning you out, stressing you out, causing other areas of your life to, um, for you to be frustrated in other areas of your life. I, I see there's a real balance this year for you all. So that you can focus on legacy. Here we have the Queen of Cups. Here we also have the High Priestess. Here we have the um, Death card, the Fool card, um, the Star card, and then also the Seven of Wands. Yep, and then the Seven of Wands. So Death card would be attached to Scorpio. This is attached to um, Leo. So I do see somebody kind of sort of moving on possibly from fixed signs. This is Aquarius, right? So we got Aquarius, Scorpio, um, and, uh, Leo. So these are all fixed signs. You could also have these Zodiac signs in your birth chart, right? So please pull your birth chart and just find out. So somebody's high priestess energy is really, really in full effect. You could literally have, this is also cancer, which is a cardinal sign like you. And then we also have the full card, right? So somebody may have felt like at one point, you know, that was, um, you may have felt like, okay, you were foolish, um, at some point where you're interacting with energies, like I said, you uh, feeling foolish, like, okay, I could have been operating in my purpose even more. And my star could have been shining even brighter. Everybody is a star in their own, right? Cause everybody has purpose, right? So somebody may have felt like at some point I burned myself out with something and I could have been doing something else. So here we also have the queen of cups again, lets me know that someone is going, I see somebody getting married either in business and or in love to someone who is very compassionate, someone who is, 
you know, who understands what you may have gone through. So meditation is also going to be very powerful too. So if you coming out of a relationship and you're trying to enter into a new relationship, it's also going to be important not to just keep praying, 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 but also quieting your mind so that you can start through the power of visualization, seeing that you all are not going to have the same obstacles that you may have experienced in past relationships. So you can get on about the business of building a very rich legacy together. That's going to make an impact on your community and the world at large. And that's what I see for you. So good for you and congratulations. Congratulations. That's very important. So it really is when everybody finds their purpose on this planet, like when everybody finds their star, the whole planet actually wins. You don't have any competition because everybody is unique in their own way. And just, but it's just getting to that is what I'm seeing here. You know, somebody's trying to get to that. So something is definitely over. You're moving on. Good for you. Great, great, great. So two situations in particular, somebody is finally moving on from something and um, just just like I said, just on the other side, just looking back at things and just feeling like you just didn't. Yeah, so two situations in particular, somebody just really upset somebody just to whatever the two situations were, somebody felt like people were holding on to secrets, somebody didn't know something, you know, and um, and you're just done with both situations altogether. Whatever the two situations are, you're just completely done. That's what the death card is up here for. So you can decide how long you want to spend in mourning or how long you want to start focusing on getting to the rebirth side. Here we have the queen of swords. Here we have the ace of cups. Here we also have the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Wands. We have the Two of Wands and then also the Ten of Pentacles. Again, double legacy wealth. So who you, whoever you or your person are, like I said, sources saying, and this is where the additional stream of income is because sources aligning you with someone who is also focusing on their legacy as well. So again, it's two for two. So if you thought about building legacy with someone and that didn't work out, and so a source is bringing somebody new into your life who also is legacy wealth minded. So again, if, if you could imagine this, looking at your cards here, it was like parallel universes. Like somebody, if you could, you know how when you watch in movies, Aries, and so on one, in one film, you're a person who is ending a relationship um, that you may have felt like you were going to build a legacy with and somebody else that you're not even aware of is also got that same mindset. And then you all come together at some part in the movie, right? That's what I'm seeing here in your car. So source is definitely saying, stay away from just like the ruthless thoughts about things and, you know, the anger and frustration to a point of burnout, because that also sends a message to new energies that you're with. Okay. It's that thin line between love and hate. If you're talking about how much like you were a victim in past relationships that gives off the energy that there's some unfinished business between you and somebody from the past and sources actually trying to send new energy across your past. So be mindful of that too. Imagine you dating somebody and they're constantly talking about their ex, constantly talking about their ex. Every little thing is a trigger about their ex. There could be some unfinished business there. And that's not something that you want to be rushing through that you just miss that. So that's why I love the fact that uh, Mercury was pre-shadow retrograde back in November, 2020, uh, 2023, 25th, 2023. And then it went re retrograde Mercury, the communication planet, messenger and communication planet. And then it went post-shadow retrograde. So all of that time you had a pre-test, the test, and the post-test. <laughs> so all of that, you learn communication about yourself. And so somebody's prayer life throughout this time, if you've been journaling and you go back into all your prayers and what was going on in that time in November up to where we are right now, you're like, gosh, you know what? I did learn a lot about myself and how I communicate and how other people receive my communication and vice versa. Main thing is that Source wants you to protect your water to no longer lament over the past, you know, show yourself some compassion, but also compassion towards other people in their situations. And here you are on your throne here, carefully vetting your thoughts. Let's close it out. And then, um, like I said, when you see the motivational Monday reading, it's an extension of Sunday's reading, but make room, make room, learn how to leave some bridges burn and move on. Here we have, I am abundant, 888. Right. So as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. So 888. So it can be some energies that, like I said before, you are crystal clear that 
you are leaving some bridges burned and being okay, being okay, right? Being okay. Whether they moved on from you or you moved on from them, somebody is saying, okay, it is what it is. I need to move on. I need to move on. And that's what I see you doing. Shamanic wisdom. That's it. Somebody, shamanic wisdom. You've definitely gained some wisdom about yourself. And because initially you want to look outside of yourself. Oh, it's them. They this. They holding on to secrets. They not telling me this. And they should have said this and that. So it's just saying, actually, it was really, it's always us versus us. Like us and us to be better than we were before learning the lesson, right? So whatever I choose to believe becomes true to me. So like I said, you can keep your vibrations high and choose to believe the best in yourself. And like, okay, I needed to increase my prayer life. And also my meditation life is that because you all are highly intuitive. If you had been in meditative state and really getting those messages and downloads, somebody wouldn't have missed something like somebody would not have missed something like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was moving around so fast. I, I almost missed something. Right. And so I definitely see somebody meditation life increasing you and whoever your person you're getting married to. So here we have inner power. Let it be known. No will or desire is more powerful than I embodied. That's it. That's that inner power. I was all be talking about for Aries is like you all are highly intuitive. You want to start listening to that intuition. You want to start paying attention to that intuition. Uh, one last card and let's close it out. Yep. One last card and let's close it out. One last card and let's close it out. Aries. Let's close it out. Close out the cycle in love. That's all right. Close out the cycle in love, self love, compassion for energies outside of yourself so that you can, again, on your free, on your high, your throne of your emotions. This right here is what calms all the fire down and replenishes that water, you know, like pours fresh water, flushes out all of that burnout and frustration. And this right here is what brings things back into focus, brings it back into focus. That is what I have for you, Aries, and I will see you on Motivational Monday. Again, this reading is for the 21st of January through the 21st of February, 2024. Bye.